second and goal. Armstrong to the air. He's got Western Camp, and there's the record for Tommy Armstrong. He's now thrown the most touchdown passes in the history of Nebraska football. Well, have yourself a day. Tommy Armstrong, the Husker, putting his name in the record books this weekend with some very impressive stats. Armstrong had three passing touchdowns and 377 passing yards. Those three touchdown tosses make him the Huskers' all-time passing touchdown leader, as you can see right there. Now, after Saturday's game, Armstrong also has more than 7,100 total yards. He joins former Husker Taylor Martinez as the only two players in school history to reach that 7,000 mark. Oh, and he also had a rushing touchdown this weekend. No big deal. Just racking him up, bringing his total for the weekend to four. Yeah, one of Tommy's receivers joining us now for a Tire Pros campus interview. It's Alonzo Moore. We'll talk about Tommy in a bit, but Alonzo, let's start off with you. Two games, two touchdown catches. What's been working so well for you thus far? Um, just being patient, you know, and trusting the process. You know, I'm having a great week of preparation and practice and then just displaying it on Saturdays. Now, right, walk me through the 63-yard touchdown bomb you had on Saturday. Um, I remember just running the slant, seeing the middle of the field open. So, you know, and I seen Tommy still had the ball. So, you know, I kind of drifted up field a little bit to let him know, throw me on the run. And, you know, that's what he did. And I just remember looking to my left, seeing that the DB was behind me. And I remember seeing... Um, the guy to the right, he was running pretty fast, which is he's, he's a fast player. I didn't know that he ran like a 10-4, 10-5, <laughs> and a 100, but he was moving, so I knew that I had to drift to the left a little bit. Uh, he probably would have caught me if I had like 10 more yards. Well, you know, my favorite part about it was at the very end, you go to some fan and you give a hug. What was all that about? Yeah, I, man, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't even, you know, a lot of people been asking me who is that guy I hugged. Uh, you know, I don't even know the guy. Um, <laughs> I just seen his arms go up, and I just felt like, you know, hey, here's a hug for you. <laughs> you got to make this a new tradition, Alonzo. Every time you score, you give a total stranger a hug. Yeah, I, I, I might have to. I might have to. <laughs> well, let's hope you score enough that that becomes something you have to do. Hey, Tommy, oh, we were talking yes, about sir. Tommy a little bit earlier. What's it like catching balls from him? Um, it's great, you know. Um, he's the type of guy that he's patient also through his progressions and everything, and um, he... You know, every ball not going to be perfect. That's just quarterback. You know, they, every quarterback not going to throw it perfect. But as a receiver, you just got to make the quarterback right, you know. And um, he gives us opportunity to make highlight real catches, you know. And, um, I mean, he, he, he gives the ball out well, and he know how much touch to put on it and everything. So, you know, he's doing a tremendous job with that. Take me inside one of his huddles. W what's his demeanor like? Describe it for me. Um, I mean, he will just say, you know, he, he'll pretty much tell us, hey, fellas, we need to play right here, each play. And then if it's, you know, we backed up in a bad situation where it's third and 18, you know, we knowing that, you know, he trusts us and he's going to get us the ball and he'll just tell us, let's make a big play. If somebody hasn't seen a minute of you guys play this year, describe for them what your offense is like. Um, you know, we, we have balanced offense, you know. We, we can run, we can pass, you know. Um, you know, one thing I can say, you know, we got a lot to, you know, improve on, to move on and uh, to, um, accomplish some of the dreams that we do have and some of the goals and everything. But um, if you just ask me, I just say we're a balanced team, run and pass. What do you have to improve on? Um, just the little things, you know, like the blocking, the penalties, you know. Um, myself also, you know, unsportsmanlike conduct to start the beginning of the game, you know, that's something that I can control. You know, I let my emotions get to me and everything, but, you know, just like some of the penalties. What have you learned about your team these first two weeks? Um, I learned that we're a team that we're not going to give up. We're going to keep fighting. You know, even whenever we have bad situations, we move on and just think positive. So you learned that? You didn't know that three weeks ago? You were like, oh, we're I mean, going to yeah, quit. Yeah, we knew we knew it, but whenever you're actually going through it, you know, we kind of know it then. You know, whenever, you know, we having bad series, like we'll go three series without scoring, and, you know, that's not us. And we have, you know, bad turnovers or, you know, illegal formations and everything. You know, we don't just sit on the sideline and just, you know, harp ourselves about it. We go out there and fix things and keep it moving. Another thing you guys have been good at this year is the fourth quarter. Right now, through two games, you're winning the fourth quarter by a combined score of 50 to nothing. 
Is that kind of just coincidental, or has that been a specific focus for you guys? No, nah, we just, um, it's just something that's just happened, you know. Um, we want to start out strong. We, we trying to have each quarter, you know, where we just doing great. But, you know, like they always say, oh, saying it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And, you know, luckily enough, we was able to finish the rest of them. But I know moving forward, we just need to come out and each quarter just improve. Did you see that an Iowa player finished the game by proposing to his girlfriend on Saturday? Um, I did not see that. Would you ever do that? Um, I would, you know, I would, you know, I, I'm not afraid to do it, you know, I, I, I would, you know, um, it, it's been some thought into that sometimes, you know, I think about it towards my girlfriend, but, you know, I don't, I, I salute him for that. But not during the game, just to be clear, right? Oh, no, nah, not during okay. the game. He did it during the game? No, no, he shouldn't. Nobody should, oh. Alonzo. You oh, get okay, I was about that. to say, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, not during the game. Yeah, maybe after. Okay, that's probably, I mean, if you had a ring on the field in the middle of a play, you get tackled, oh, that yeah, yeah, gone. You, yeah, I mean, unless you hide it on your wrist and then you tape your wrist. <laughs> Alonzo Moore, Nebraska wideout. Thanks for the time, man. Congrats on the great start to the year. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Thank you.